What's up? Danny High Soccer with Cone Inc. helping people do their business better. So I was able to work with the Poly team and we were able to access the camera controls via Poly Lens for the Poly Studio R30. So we're going to show you that right now. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are. So I had to disable my OBS camera and some other software uh, plus some other uh, actions that I had to take uh, in order to access the uh, camera control preview uh, via PolyLens for my Poly Studio R30. Right now, I'm currently utilizing Vidyard, so the video quality may not be uh, HD, uh, but I can, you know, you can see enough uh, to understand what's available here in terms of the camera controls uh, within PolyLens for the Poly Studio R30. So let's start with you have favorites, so you have the ability to uh, create your own favorites. I don't know if you can see this, but you have uh, one, two, three, four uh, different favorites that you can access and you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, right? You know, you can adjust all that contrast. Uh, you also have backlight compensation, but right now I don't have any backlight coming from behind me, so I don't need to worry about that. So here are the different tracking modes that are currently available through PolyLens uh, for the Poly Studio R30. So you have the ability to just turn it off completely so there's zero uh, tracking uh, capabilities uh, but you have it speaker mode which is what it's in currently uh, group mode presenter mode and this new conversation mode right and this is best when you have multiple people in the room uh, speaking uh, so this is the setting to utilize you have the ability to zoom uh, either two times three times or four times uh, you have the ability to adjust the camera movement from cut to auto pan, meaning it's gonna pan over to you or it's just gonna cut over to you. Right now I have it set to auto pan uh, and you can adjust the tracking speed from slow, normal, or fast. And then you have the uh, option to adjust the frame size from tight, medium, or wide. So we can tighten it up and let's see if it tightens up. Yep, so it's going to zoom in on me there. All right, so now it's on presenter mode. So I'm going to get up. And so you see that it follows me more uh, quickly now because it's following me, the presenter. And I have it on tight, so it's going to close in on me. Uh, but anyway, let me go back over here. These are all options that are available through PolyLens. Uh, and I strongly recommend that you download PolyLens uh, desktop app in order to access these controls. All right, stay tuned for more. All right, so there you go. That was just a quick uh, overview of the camera controls via PolyLens for the Poly Studio R30. Uh, however, now that uh, we have it all working and set up, I'm gonna take this Poly R uh, Studio R30 back uh, to my corporate office. I will do more tests uh, with the Poly Studio R30 in a more appropriate setting. If you like this type of video, don't forget to like, subscribe, Comment below, let us know what you'd like to see, and we'll do our best to make it. Thanks.